Hello YouTubers, this is Joshua, Flippin' Windows, and today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys another tutorial based off of the Android interface. As you guys can see, the toolbar on Rocket Dot has a set of Android-like icons, and the wallpaper is based off of Honeycomb, the current theme that I have now. And the little status bars, the volume, wireless, and the battery status bar is all in relations to the Android interface, for the 3.0 at least. Now, on the start menu, as you can see, it has a Honeycomb likeness to it. And going into the computer, you can see that we have a various of minimalism and going to the other part on system properties I believe we do have an icon opposed to the Windows 7 icon and as you can see the sidebar has a very minimal look to it going to the control panel another set of minimal likeness to it and I believe on the large icons there's not much change but just a few drastic changes so nothing much but the whole interface is supposed to revolve around the taskbar, the start menu, and such. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install it if you guys aren't familiar with my previous videos on how to install it. And when you guys do download either or the set, which I think I'll go ahead and put the whole icon package in one. First, you'll see gingerbread, honeycomb, and ice cream sandwich. They're going to be downloader sets. So what you're going to do is you're going to download them, and after that, it'll go ahead and set up and install. So be sure to know which one that you will be installing. And here's a note. Here's a very valuable note that I've learned. If you decide that you want to go ahead and try all three of them, and you also have this thing in your mind, in the back of your mind, that you want to go ahead and always revert back to the Windows 7 interface, make sure you install one don't like it uninstall it then install the other one so if you like gingerbread install it if you don't happen to like it anymore uninstall it the reason why I say that is because gingerbread it backs up the Windows 7 interface the original and it goes ahead and saves it so if you were to go ahead and install honeycomb it's gonna back up those files and Windows 7 original is gonna go ahead and be deleted so always uninstall the first theme before you go ahead and install the other theme that you want to go ahead and choose that's my greatest tip it'll go ahead and save you plenty of problems in the future so let's just say for example ice cream sandwich all you have to do is when you do download it when it does finish it'll, it'll go ahead and come up to this right here I'm gonna go ahead and run it It'll go ahead and come up to the splash screen. You want to click next. You want to go ahead and accept the license agreement. Press next afterwards. You want to go ahead and click on custom installation and uncheck all those toolbars because it's going to be more of a hassle than you think. Press next and then press install. Once you go ahead and press install, the whole computer will go ahead and go blank. It'll go ahead and complete. It'll ask you to reboot. It's always wise to go ahead and reboot. That way the interface can go ahead and take effect. If you have anything on your desktop or anything open, be sure to go ahead and save it before you go on to this setting up of the ice cream sandwich because the explorer bar will go ahead and disappear and you won't be able to access it until go to the task manager and do a new task of explorer.exe. Then you can go ahead and get to it. So that's my overview of the Android ice cream sandwich. If you guys have any questions, let me know if you have any suggestions on my next video go ahead and shout them out and I will go ahead and get up on it